Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to my 30-minute good morning workout. This is a full body workout and such a great way to wake up your body, wake up your mind, so you are confident and ready for the day ahead. Of course, if you don't have time to do it in the morning, you can do this workout anytime and it'll serve you well and make you feel amazing. Let's get started, my friends, sitting up nice and tall all on your mat and let's just wake our bodies up legs bent feet flat on the floor and just rest your arms by your sides take a nice inhale here and as you exhale we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest and reach out and lift the arms up inhale arms float down exhale dive forward and reach and sitting up tall and float the arms down good two more times big exhale to tuck the chin reach out long reach up and here's our last one make this nice and smooth good very nice everyone let's do the same movement but this time with straight legs so lengthen your legs nice and long in front of you this will increase the stretch just that extra little bit inhale and drop the chin round your back reach out make a flat back to bring your body up inhale arms float down exhale reach it forward good two more just like this make sure the shoulders are away from the ears Keeping the legs nice and long. You should feel this in your back and of course the backs of the legs. Beautiful. And float the arms down. Bend the right leg. Place your left arm on the outside of that right thigh and let's twist to the right. Breathe nice and deep. Really feel your spine spiraling upward so we're always getting taller, never shorter. Good, and let's go for it on the other side. Really rooting those sit bones, twisting from the waist, long necks, long backs. Good, and return your body back to center. Lengthen the arms. From here, let's inhale to scoop the belly. Exhale, tuck your tail, find your half roll back position and let's go for some pulses inhale exhale and down and three and four good and five keep going six and seven and eight nice hold it here flex your feet use your core to roll up inhale float the arms up and as you exhale just fold the body in half Good, grab onto your toes if you can reach. If not, your hands just go on your shins. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your head. No tension, breathe deep. And come up just enough to make your beautiful flat back. Really flex up those feet. Drop your head back, let it go. Good, breathing nice and deep. And just round your back over your legs once again drop your nose down to your knees deep breaths and roll up sequentially through the spine sitting up tall let's do that whole thing again inhale to scoop the belly exhale to tuck your tail maybe this time try to roll back a little bit closer to the floor and go for it pulse it back and two and three and four good keep going each time really scooping the belly and tucking the tail even more beautiful flex the feet use your core to sit up inhale arms float up ah and exhale fold the body in half really nice everyone drop your head down nice and heavy breathe deep close your eyes if you want shake out your shoulders shake out your head And again, come up to your beautiful flat back, press the shoulders away from the ears, drop your head back, really let it go. Feet stay nice and flexed so you get a good stretch in your calves, Achilles, and hamstrings. 
and round the back over the legs, dropping the head down nice and heavy. Good. Take your time rolling up through the spine, bone by bone by bone by bone, and sitting up nice and tall. Beautiful. All right, let's bend the legs again. Have your legs open about hip width apart. Let's cross those arms and go for some genie abs. Inhale to scoop, exhale to tuck your tail, find your half roll back position. Inhale, exhale, and exhale, crunching the knee towards those arms, towards the chest. Good, keep going everyone. Exhale to tap, inhale to lower down. From here, reverse tabletop. If you have wrist issues and you can't go on your palms, you can just go on your forearms. There's nothing wrong with that. We're gonna hold it here and breathe. Close your eyes, smile, think happy thoughts. Engaging in those glutes. Hips should be up high, hips should be level. Gently lower your pelvis back down to the mat. Sitting up tall, cross the arms, and let's go again. Inhale to zip up your abdominals. Exhale, tuck your tail, find your half roll back. And again, tapping the knees to the arms one at a time. Exhaling on your taps. Good. And again, lifting up into your reverse tabletop. Really feel the back of the body engaged. Arms, backs, glutes, hamstrings. Breathing deep. And gently lower your pelvis back down to the mat. Good work, everyone. All right, I want you to squeeze your legs together now. Crossing the arms, take your half roll back, and now we're going to lift both legs at the same time. Exhale to bring them up. Inhale to lower your feet down. Good. Keep going, everyone. Shoulders away from the ears. Keep your neck nice and lengthened and long. You can do it, keep going. And from here, tuck your right leg under the left. Place your right palm on the floor. We are going to lift the hips, pushing them forward, arching the back, opening up the chest, reaching back with that left arm. This should feel oh so delicious. And lower the pelvis back down. And now tuck your left leg under your right. Left palm goes on the floor behind your pelvis and lift up arch back reach back breathe deep really push those hips forward beautiful and lower the pelvis back down and let's go again my friends squeeze those legs together cross the arms take your half roll back and knees come in and let's pulse it out this time Teeny tiny pulses, keep breathing, exhaling on the in. Good, keep going, you can do it. Almost there, don't stop. There you go, and from here, place your hands behind your thighs. If you can, lengthen your legs as long as you can into your teaser pose. Of course, if you can't stretch them all the way, then you can keep them slightly bent. And if you can, walk your hands up towards your ankles. Hold here, breathe, close your eyes if you want. Feel the belly scoop, tailbone tuck so you can balance. Good. And bending the knees, hands go behind the thighs once again. Place your feet on the floor to sit up nice and tall. Beautiful job, friends. Let's release our hips a little bit. Coming into your butterfly position, feet together, knees apart. Take your inhale, and as you exhale, really let your arms help round your back forward. Drop your head down. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your head if you need to. We don't want to start the day with any tension. 
Good. And roll up through the spine. Sitting up nice and tall. Grab your toes with your left hand, reaching back with your right fingertips. Root those sit bones so you can spiral your body upwards to twist right. And bring the body back to center, change hands, and now let's twist to the left. Remember, your body should feel like it's getting taller as you twist. No slouching. Really feel your spine spiraling upwards. And return back to center. Good. Drop your head back just to release. Really let it go. And bring your head back up. Good. All right, friends, stick with me. Let's lengthen the legs out in front of us. And I want you to open them about the width of your yoga mat or a little bit wider than hip width. Externally, rotate your legs. Arms are out in front. Inhale to zip up your abdominals. Exhale to tuck your tail. Take your half roll back and then bend your arms to prop yourself up on your forearms. Using your inner thighs, my friends, we're gonna paint a beautiful rainbow with our right leg going up and over to join the left, and then up and over back to your starting position. Same thing with the left leg, up and over, up and over, good. Let's keep alternating legs. So both legs are externally rotated, turned out, so you should really feel this in those inner thighs. And of course, you can flex your feet if that feels more comfortable for you. Just focus on maintaining your turnout. And of course, always striving for your longest legs possible. Good. Keep going. Make sure you're really engaging in your core. No extra movement, no rocking and rolling. Just those legs are moving. Good. From here, everyone, let's close the legs together. Bring your legs back to your parallel line. Engage in your core so you can release your arms. Hold here and let's slice the arms. So now just the arms are moving. Good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep it going. Shoulders level. Neck is long. Good. Keep it up. Don't stop. And arms come back to center. Good. And from here, let's roll all the way down to the mat. Place your arms by your sides. Okay, everybody. Let's bring the knees into the chest and just come to our home base position for a moment. Give your legs a nice big hug. Breathe deep and rock your knees side to side, massaging out your lower back. And let's place the arms out to the side like a T. Legs are in a tabletop position, bent at about a 90 degree angle. Let's tilt the legs to the left. Go nice and slow. Place your legs on the floor so gently that you don't make any noise. And then use your core, press your arms down to bring the legs back to center. And now let's tilt the legs to the right. Take your time going down. And then use your core, squeeze those legs to bring the legs back to center. From here, roll up in your cute little ball and we are going to release the right leg and right arm and exhale, bring it in. Same thing left, inhale, lengthen. Exhale in, good. And now let's do everything together. Out, circle, bring it in. And again, double leg stretch. And bring it in really nice, my friends. From here, lower your head down. Let's do the whole thing again. Arms out to the side like a T, legs tabletop. Tilt your legs to the left, gently placing them down on the floor. Use your core, squeeze the legs, legs come back. And now we go to the right. Stay in control, make each movement count. And once you come back to center, again, we roll up in our cute little ball. And lengthening your right side, inhale out. Exhale in, same thing left. Make sure you're imprinting your spine, don't arch the back. And double leg stretch out. Exhale in, and again out. And exhale, come in. 
Very nice, everyone. Lower your head down. Return back to your home base. And this time, let's place the hands on the knees and just stir your legs around. Really try to let your arms do all the work here just to give your hips a nice little release. Good. And let's place our feet flat on the floor. Legs are about hip width apart. Arms by your sides. And from here, I want you to lift up into your shoulder bridge. Hips are high, hips are level, squeezing those glutes. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. And let's dip the hips about halfway down and then squeeze up. Down and up. Down and lift. Good. Make sure you're really pressing into the floor equally with both feet. Keep going, down and up, down, squeeze up. Good, keep this going, everyone. Really squeezing those glutes at the top of the lift. And last one here. And articulate down through the spine, rolling all the way down to the floor. Curl up into your cute little ball and let's go for some scissors. Slicing the legs in opposition, we pulse one, two, and slice and change one, two. Keep going. So we're inhaling on the slice and on your pulses, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Good. Longest legs you can make, everyone. Make sure you're imprinting your spine. Don't let that back arch. Beautiful. And return back to your cute little ball. Lower your head down, back to your home base. Rock your knees side to side. Massage out that lower back. Let's go back to our shoulder bridge. And this time, I want you to lift your heels up. So just the balls of the feet are on the floor. Peel your spine off the mat. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. Or if you want to keep your arms down for support, of course you can do that. And let's go for our little lifts. Lowering your pelvis about halfway down and squeezing the glutes to lift your hips back up. Keep going, everyone. Really squeezing the booty at the top of the lift. Feel your hips level. Good. Keep going. Last one here. And roll down through the spine, passing through your imprint, returning to neutral. And then curl it on up, imprinting your spine. Slice the legs apart. And this time, we're not going to do our two pulses. We're just going to go for our singles. So we slice and change. And change. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Really feel your legs lengthening apart in opposition. This is all about that beautiful length. That's how we get those long, lean muscles. Keep going, keep breathing, keep slicing. Very nice, friends. That was your last one. Returning back to your home base. Take some deep breaths. Rock your knees side to side. Good job. All right, hands go behind the thighs. Give yourself a little rock back so you can pull yourself up. And let's swing the legs around and get down on those bellies. Open your legs about the width of your yoga mat or a little bit wider than hip width. Hands are open that same distance. You can either prop yourself up on your forearms or press your palms into the floor and just push the floor away as far as you can. And let's take some nice head circles here. Really let it go. We're lengthening out our abdominals. This should feel nice. And then, of course, really lovely for the neck. Good. Once you complete your two head rolls going both ways, gently lower your body down and just rock your hips side to side just to release any lower back tension. All right, friends, let's go for some back extensions. Keep your legs where they are, but I want you to place your hands directly under your shoulders so your elbows are shooting straight back. Engage in your core, pubic bone down, belly button lifting in and up, and just push the floor away into a baby back extension. Release your hands, open your arms out to the side, 
And from here, inhale to tap the fingertips down. Exhale, squeeze up, down, squeeze up. Inhale, down, squeeze up. Good, so we're really squeezing those shoulder blades together. So good for the back. Good, and of course, you're always pulling your belly button towards your spine so we don't get any lower back discomfort. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Good, everyone. Bend your arms, hands directly under the shoulders, and with control, lower your upper body back down to the mat. Rock your hips side to side, and let's go for another variation, starting the same way. Engaging your core, press the floor away, release your hands from the floor. Good, from here, we're going to lengthen our arms out in front in a V, and then exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, reach out, exhale, squeeze back. It's almost like you're trying to touch your elbows together. Good, and again, inhale, reach forward, exhale, squeeze and reach back. Keep this going, navel to your spine. Good, almost there. And last one. And gently lower your upper body down to the floor. Good, rock those hips side to side. Stick with me, friends. Let's close the legs together and now get the whole back of the body working. Reach your arms behind you. Palms are facing in towards your body. We're going to lift everything up. And let's go for a swim. Flutter those legs. This is so amazing for your hamstrings, your glutes, your entire back. We're working the whole posterior chain. Keep kicking, keep swimming, keep breathing. And lower the body down with control. And let's lift up into our forearm plank. Tuck your toes under, lift the body up. Good. And from here, let's just alternate bending knees. Tap your knee down to the floor, lift up. Tap your other knee down to the floor, lift up. Good, keep this going, my friends. Feel your body nice and flat, horizontal, parallel to the floor. Core is really working hard here. Keep going. And lower your body back down and let's go for a swim again. Lifting up, reaching back and flutter the legs. Kick, 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 kick. Good, really lengthening the legs long. Keep swimming. And adjusting to our forearm plank. Elbows directly under your shoulders, tuck the toes, and lift it up. And this time, let's lower both knees, double hamstring curl, tuck the toes, and lift up. Knees down, bring your heels to your bottom, tuck the toes, and lift up. Keep going, down, and curl. Tuck the toes and lift, and again, good. Working those hamstrings, keep this going, my friends. Breathing deep, make sure you're not holding your breath. Almost there, keep going. Last one. Beautiful. Lower your body back down to the floor. And let's take a little break. Shifting your weight back into your child's pose. Arms are nice and long in front. Round the back, drop the head, breathe deep. Shake out your shoulders, shake out your head. Good, really deep breaths, my friends. You are ready for the day ahead. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Positive thoughts, positive thinking. And let's roll up through the spine. All right, you're almost there. Stick with me. Let's get into our tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, core engaged, of course. And let's go into our beautiful bird dog pose. Release your left arm and your right leg. Breathe deep. Let's hold it here. 
Feel your limbs lengthening in opposition. Energy shooting out of the fingertips and toes. And lower your limbs down and here we go, second side. Right arm, left leg, nice and long. Breathing deep, navel to your spine. Good, and lower your limbs down. Let's tuck the toes under, my friends, and shift back into our downward facing dog. Try to get those heels down, enjoy this nice, beautiful stretch. And then let's just alternate bending knees, just to kind of walk it out, bending the right, bending the left. Good, keep this going nice and smooth. Good, and last one here. And let's gently lower our knees back down to the mat. Adjust to your forearms, elbows under the shoulders, and lengthen your right leg behind you and turn it out. We're going to pulse the leg up in our beautiful arabesque four times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to bring your right knee towards your right elbow. Lengthen the leg back. Bring the knee in and lengthen the leg back. Good, go for it again. Down, up, and two, and three, and four. The knee comes in and lengthen long. Bring it in and lengthen long. Very nice, we have two more rounds. Keep this going, no extra movement. Keep that core engaged. Beautiful, and here's our last round. Squeeze the buns at the top of that arabesque lift. And knee to the arm, and knee to the arm. Beautiful, good job everybody. Let's lower that leg down. And from here, we'll do the same thing with the left. Turn it out, lift it up, pulsing in your arabesque. One, two, three, and four. Bring that knee towards that left elbow, two times. Good, and go for it again. Good job, everyone. We have two more rounds. Feel your left leg nice and long. No extra movement in the body. Really keep that core working. And here's our last round, pulsing the leg up one up two, three, and four. Knee comes in, lengthen out, and knee in, and lengthen out. Woohoo! All right, lower that leg down, and let's adjust back to our palms. From here, lengthen your right leg back, tuck the toes under, left leg back, tuck the toes under. Here's your beautiful high plank. Shifting back into your downward facing dog and we are just going to wave the body forward and then wave the body back. This should feel delicious. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. All this beautiful articulation in the body and in the spine. Keep going everyone, set your own tempo. Good. Just really feel this in the whole body. Really getting in touch with your breath, with the movement. Keep going, everyone. And last one for good luck. Good, and just finish in your downward facing dog, drop your chest towards the floor, and then lower your knees down. And let's go back to our child's pose. This time if you want, you can place your arms by your sides. Breathe deep. Let's roll up through the spine to sit up nice and tall. You can place your hands on your thighs or just drop your arms by your sides, whatever feels good for you. Let's circle the head all the way around again. Really let it go, biggest range of motion that you can make. And then when you're ready, reverse your circle. 
no tension. Good. And from here, my friends, close your eyes. Just take some nice deep breaths. And remember, whatever challenges you have in your life or whatever struggles you are going through, there is light at the end of the tunnel, always, always. All these hard times are temporary, so keep your chin up, stay positive, stay kind to yourself and to others, and you will get through it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share this video and my channel with your friends and family, and please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another Danzig Fitness workout. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Sending so much love and huge, huge hugs. Take care of you, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.